what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to YouTube, hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Hey guys, we're back here with you, guys. I'm here, my beautiful, handsome guest. Oh, my name is Ahmed Ba, and I'm always happy to be here. Always the nice guest, yeah. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. The vibe. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be reacting to uh, the meaning of life. Yeah. Muslim spoken so cool. world. Yeah. No, this is going to be late. Yeah, it's really going to be amazing. So, so let's, let's give this a try. Um, but my Muslim friend over here too. Take us some Muslim video town. Yeah. So I'll know more about um, his religion, Islamic religion. So oh, yeah. let's give this a try, guys. You know how to do it. We'll talk less, we'll write down, react more. Let's get into this video. What are we doing here? And where are we gonna go? It's like we just woke up one morning and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see on the TV from the hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told. <coughs> and if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol. You'll still hear your thoughts, then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex and rock and roll but in all honesty i just need to know is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own i just really need True. to know before the casket is closed because i'm not willing to gamble with my soul nor am i ready to take any chances these are just simple life questions and i'm just searching for some answers like what are we doing here and what is our purpose how did we get here and who made us so perfect and what happens once we go or is this world all really worth it questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to there's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural then in that case please let me ask you did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you because you're a being that's impeccable faultless and unparalleled you're a product of supreme intelligence and i'm merely being rational for there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind and if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly <laughs> so many signs yet we True. still deny a science tries to justify that all this could come from none when it's a simple sum zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one wow so from True where did all this order come for everything has its origins a maker a creator of its own i mean the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload so we can believe in the big bang but i'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode allah the creator of everything along with every single soul the ever living, the master, the only one who is in control. Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination, and no, he's not a man, nor does he have any partners in association. He's on his own. And no, he did not ever leave us alone. Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being. It's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. 
like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below, and the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. To the planets in orbit, alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O to the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh to identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome the gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone and not a word has changed it's still the same so please explain how all this was known over 1400 years See, these are the miracles um, in the Quran. Or yeah, yeah, some the of the miracles. Going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a miracles of the Quran. The things that God talked about in the Quran. You see, he's talking about like the human embryo, how yeah. it formed the mountains, and where, like in history, the war that happened between Persia and Russia, um, the Romans, okay. the lowest land, and the water that doesn't mix. Like some of the miracles, and even the Big Bang. They talked about science. Talk about the thing was like. One it just put asunder. Mm. It's mentioned in the Quran about the Big Bang and all of that. It was really, 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 really it's impressive. Yeah. It's really, really impressive because those things um, that was written in the Quran, it's there's no way someone would just come about. Them. Yeah, because like the Arabian Peninsula at that point in time was like they were not too open to civilization and other things like, and the Prophet was on letters. How can he come up with all these things in his own words? Mm. Yeah, but they, what what really got me is like the meaning of life per se. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, because like, yeah. you need to have a maker, someone it's, who washes and all. True. You see, when he was like, "Do you come to this world for the money, alcohol, sex, yeah. um, drinking, partying, rock, or stuff?" Yeah. Those are the rat race for me. That yeah. is not the main purpose of us being on it. Yeah, it's uh, they are the the things on it we found ourselves in. You see, Jesus Christ was according to my Bible say. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. Oh yeah, you yeah, get. yeah. So you being in this world does not mean um, you are meant to stay here for long. This is a temporary um, abode. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very temporary. This earth itself is very temporary. So you being on it, living the lifestyle, drinking, smoking, or following women and stuff like that, that is not your main purpose on it. Yeah, you see, that is it. So people can like forget the reason they are it because they are trying chasing money. Yeah. So I, I feel like money itself is not it's not it's just used year on eight. And yeah. it gives we give money value. Yeah. We humans give money value. That because if today we are all to say, um, let's go back to the time of gold. We'll be using gold to exchange for something. Yeah, battery Do, system. Yeah, yeah, dollars and your currency per se will will be useless. Yeah, There's bro. no point of using it. That's it, bro. We start all we all start using the gold again and continue. I swear. So, after all these things are just temporary, and uh, there's a maker, there's a messiah, and it has been proven 14,000 years ago. Even before 14,000 years ago, there are miracles, there are things that happened yeah. that, that was written down. So, you'd, you shouldn't forget your purpose here on earth because of the material, um, your yeah. fleshly desire. That's Sometimes we get caught up in the situation because, like, the things that we see around and we kind of like want to put attention to it's more materialistic if you don't do like nah bro i don't smoke i don't drink i don't yeah. party oh, bro like you're old like what what are you doing here man yeah. come on live the life bro you have to enjoy yourself like you see so you get tempted to do those things yeah but the purpose here is to like worship your god and be the best person like serve humanity you know that's what matters like instead of you being in the rat race like okay. just chasing money so you see that's true you see, what I notice about life per se, it's you following God, you never get tired of it. Yeah. You get. But you buying, like, for instance, you say you want to buy iPhone 13 or iPhone 12 or uh, iPhone 14. Yeah. Once you buy it, you feel like, I need a better one. Yeah. You see, you want to get more. You want to advance more. But when you are in, in you are living a holy life, yeah. a godly life, yeah. um, your main purpose is about God. You know, you, you don't see yourself like I want a different God. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get that, uh-huh. bro. So you you will stick to it. You feel happy and comforted, like you feel 
oh, I'm doing something after a year it gives you peace. Yeah, they hire, they, you have a purpose. That's in yeah. life. You have to have a purpose. But yeah. material things don't, it would never give you a purpose. Yeah. It's just something, it's you just know, it's like, okay. Right, know. It's instant gratification. That's Thank the word. You. That's the right word to use. Yes. Instant, yes. Grat- yes. instant yes. gratification. <laughs> sure. Because like, right. when you focus on God, what, what really happens is like, it's your inner self. Like, yeah. You know, once I believe like, you when you work on your inner self like what you feel inside then you're at peace with yourself yeah. you don't care about external stuff because you don't you don't control external stuff True. you don't care about how people s- say ah you are you are dressing in some way you are doing some way as yeah. long as you are pleasing your maker and you are happy within you spend time yeah. on your own meditate yeah. and journal and you try to like work on yourself internally that goes in line with your God. Yeah. Yeah. Not just doing something for you based on your desires. You go in line with your God. True. The one you worship and you follow your books. Bro, like, I, you don't see anything like relates to this world as something because you know you will die. Like, that's the only thing you are sure of. You will die. True. And when you die, you know, when you go meet your God, bro, like, you're a king, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, you'll be balling that time. You understand? <laughs> So it's 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 very very important you shouldn't um lose your focus here on it because yeah. of the things you see and ambitions and power and fame and stuff uh, you should still keep your focus straight let's uh, keep watching guys and see what more he has to offer is a goal to a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angel spoke and if you still don't believe please try to come up with something that's even close but you can't, so we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. How somebody who can't read or write gonna start a religion? Dismiss the scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk as we live life according to our whims, desires, and hopes. Saying this life is the only home we will ever know. We will live, then die, then simply turn to bones. Yo, lo. Correction, after the grass dies, the rain arrives and it regrows And Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul And bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes As the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close And we are surely being tested In our wealth, our health, and our self And everything that we've been blessed with So believe, for we will surely be resurrected And be brought back to our Lord And account for every single deed As he hands us our books and orders us to read From the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability. So don't be mad at me. You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me. But you were busy in all that which was temporary. So read. And glad tidings to all those who believed. And if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Oh, inshallah. <laughs> swear <laughs> on. Like, it's really sometimes uh, these things we just need to be looking at it. Like, mm. cause sometimes we get distracted. Like, for sure, and we're all seen as no one is perfect. Even yeah. God knows like we are not perfect humans are not perfect but the thing how god judges us is like you focusing like your best deeds like that's the amazing thing your best deeds and whatever sins you commit you just say god i'm sorry for what i did i know i did wrong huh? please forgive me he will forgive you and after that you forgive commit another sin again you ask for he forgives you so like we just need to make the effort that's all he needs from us just make the effort and you know try to like make better friends and be, that people are focused in life like they want to achieve something greater and they are closer to their god yeah because like no matter what you you get distracted if you have wrong friends bad friends like even if you think you are good no you'll be affected in one way or the other True. so having the right friends just know your purpose is to like worship god and try to like read your books try to know about god you need to do your research. Just don't say I'm a Muslim, I'm this, I'm yeah. a Christian. Nah. You need to research, know your God. Like in Islam, 
as a religion of knowledge of logic the moment you stop reading you are dying off and every man that doesn't read even apart from religion a man yeah. that doesn't read doesn't leave doesn't leave. Yeah. so you see so you need to read to research about your god the more you take time to research about money it's too much bro Akala, we all fall into that category but sometimes you need to reflect on your life come closer to god like do your research know your god bro like you you'll be top one bro. that's it because god always forgives and it's not by your actions you make heaven it's by god's grace even in islam sure. we we'll believe in that but that doesn't mean you should not do the work you do the work and le- leave the rest to god that's it bro that's amazing <laughs> you just said everything yeah right here guys that's amazing i really do like this video um i love how he pointed the direction like you should not lose your focus here on it uh, because of material things and fame or people who are singing like um there's no other world there's no place to go outside the earth mm-hmm. it's the final boast up you just feel like those artists feel that like there is that final boast up then they should die and still here on it it's as simple as i mean i don't believe it's my final boost up you guys we all have a purpose me i believe i have a purpose here on it so i'm going to fulfill my purpose and i'm going to go to heaven yeah. so that is the um the goal for everyone everyone wants to go to heaven so we should not lose our focus here on earth okay. basically because of money or fame or power and you should also sell your soul to to um to demonic powers because of fame because those things are temporary it's temporary man very, very it's temporary. Temporary. So, uh, how, how long do you think you're going to live on your earth at least them 70 80 years yeah okay. that's so, really short like <laughs> it's really short so what is the point of you um giants like just acquire, the, the um, thing, spiritual powers I, I, I don't know the funny thing is this uh, we all want to make heaven but we don't want to die yeah that is the funny bro, thing bro yeah funny i don't know sometimes when i think about it yeah. i just laugh but like the funniest thing if you live for people yeah or you live for materialistic thing when you die like within a month you're forgotten bro like you, no one thinks about you no more yeah. only a few people think about you True. even if your parents uh, your your children sends prayers for you ask god's forgiveness for you sometimes some some of them don't even do it because like if you don't live a, a religious life a holy life yeah you can't teach your children that you only teach them materialistic things so when you are gone who will pray for you you see and what what will you do like you don't check the money you have oh okay you have money so you make have or no the more you are closer to your god do the right thing impact people's lives yeah and teach your children or people around about religion Religions, and all yeah. of that that will help you out so you sure. see because you're yeah. forgotten when you're dead man within two years bro don't want things about you again everything is vanity for me yeah. <laughs> Every, everything is vanity guys yeah so that's... you shouldn't allow things weigh you down you shouldn't you shouldn't need to be worried too much about this world this life itself as long as you're fulfilling the purpose you are, you are here on earth yeah that is it for me is a go that's so it. comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video as many as you can subscribe to YouTube channel guys you know how to do it we'll see you guys in the next video make sure yeah. you stay safe I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that dump, dump shaker Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, you in my bed, I got scales all